This lesson is how to divide by a fraction. For example, 5 twelfths divided by 3 fourths. The 3 fourths is what we mean when we say by a fraction. The main idea for this type of lesson is that we want to turn this into a multiplication problem. Then we take the second fraction and flip it over into the reciprocal. Then you just multiply the first by the second fractions. If you multiply straight across, then you simplify for your final answer, in this case, of 5 ninths. We'll be using reciprocals. A reciprocal, if you remember, is when we take a fraction like 3 fourths and we flip it over. The numerator and denominator change places and we can say that 3 fourths and 4 thirds are reciprocals of one another. The KCF is a strategy that we use for this type of problem. The K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. We keep the first fraction, we change the division symbol into multiplication, and we flip the second fraction into its reciprocal. And we do that because of related multiplication and division facts. So KCF stands for keep, change, flip. Okay, let's go ahead and walk through the steps together of the same problem. So, 5 twelfths divided by 3 fourths. Step 1 is that we keep the first fraction the same. Step 2 is we change division into multiplication. Step 3 is that we flip the second fraction into its reciprocal. You can multiply. I like to simplify now because it's easier to do it now than later. Um, so, 5 and 3 will not simplify because they share a greatest common factor of 1. And remember, when you divide by 1, the number stays the same. 12 and 4, however, we can simplify because they share a greatest common factor of 4, which means that we can divide each by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3, so we rewrite that fraction as 5 thirds. 4 thirds, the 4 divided by 4 is 1, so we now have 1 third. Multiply. The top would be 5 times 1 is 5, and the bottom 3 times 3, and that's where we got the 5 ninths for our first problem, using the keep, change, and flip strategy for dividing by fractions. Our second problem, why don't you pause a second, uh, get a pen and a piece of paper, and try to solve it, right, and then we'll look at it together. Okay, how'd you, how'd you do? Step one, two thirds stays the same, right? Step two, we change division into multiplication. Step three, we flip that fraction into the reciprocal. Next, we are ready to multiply, but I, oh, we, I like to simplify. Uh, it's easier to simplify now. And the only thing we can simplify would be the two because the greatest common factor of two. And when you do your work there and you divide it, you're going to have one third times five over one. Multiply, you're going to come up with five over three. Now, in this case, that's an improper fraction, and that happens sometimes for these kind of problems. And you will need one more step to write that as a mixed number because the numerator is greater than the denominator. Remember that we divide the numerator by the denominator using your long division skills. You're going to get 1 with the remainder of 2, but that 2 needs to become your numerator of your fraction, and then the 3 is your denominator. For your final answer, of one and two thirds. Thanks everybody so much. Keep practicing. I hope this was helpful today and we will see you on the next one.